morning guys uh, anjani kumar here dealing in instrumentation subject for finally electrical students in the last session we started a uh, instrumental error so what are the instrumental error these are errors due to low quality substandard materials used in an instrument if you take that uh, instrument you will get these type of instrumental error so what are the instrumental error there are limiting error guaranteed accuracy error and up to guaranteed accuracy error we discussed right so what is our limiting error the percentage error that can be explained by the manufacturer itself so then we can call it as a limiting error what is a guaranteed accuracy error what is meant by guaranteed accuracy error you know that uh, accuracy can be specified by percentage of accuracy from the full scale itself or else percentage of accuracy from the measurement of something for suppose definitely people will get the doubt so for suppose if you want to measure 5 volts that's my true value you will get uh, you just apply to the instrument you will get the result of uh, 4 volts that is my measured value right so what is meant by accuracy accuracy means how much closer so that means what is an error there are plus or minus 1% right what is my full scale 0 to 5 volts ni measure cheyadaniki you have the instrument 0 to 50 volts so accuracy and plus or minus 1% accuracy from 50 volts measurements so that is called a guaranteed accuracy right i'll explain see i want to measure 5 volts so this is my true value i have an instrument 0 to 50 volts instrument on the if you bend then you will get the result as 4 volts so this is my true value so this is my measured value and this is my true value right so what is an accuracy the deviation from measured value to the true value we can call it as an accuracy we discussed it so what is accuracy accuracy can be specified in terms of percentage of error na? so what is the error so it's plus or minus plus or minus accuracy so what is the accuracy plus or minus 1 percent na plus or minus one percent right that accuracy you can specify it from the full scale so plus or minus one percent accuracy while at 50 volts measurements what is my full scale in the instrument 50 volts or else plus or minus one percent accuracy while measuring five volts so that is my true value now so a percentage of accuracy that you can explain in two ways by the full scale itself or particular measurement itself if you explain it's a full scale then we can call it as a if you measure it a full scale then we can call it as a guaranteed accuracy error all right if you measure a particular value percentage of accuracy at particular value we can call it as a limiting error all right these concepts will be discussed in last sessions also all right after that loading error so what is meant by loading error this is very very important concept what is meant by loading error for suppose i have an voltmeter like this clearly listen to me it's very very important concept i have a voltmeter and this is a resistance this is one more resistance right so this is r1 this is r2 all right i want to i want to find the voltage across the r2 so i want to find out the voltage across the r2 all right you have a formula voltage division rule so with this um, you can find the voltage across r2 so what is that value i into r2 by r1 plus r2 you know about this one right i have an instrument i don't use the formulas itself i have an instrument so what should I do? Directly I will apply the instrument across R2. So what happened? I have an instrument. This is R1. This is R2. R1, R2. Alright. I have a voltmeter. Directly grip it as a voltmeter. Then I will get the result now. What is the voltage across the resistance R2? But see, this voltmeter having internal resistance. Huh? Each and every instrument that it has some internal resistance now. Huh? So what is that internal resistance or V, right? If you have this internal resistance, these two resistance are in parallel now. What is the equivalent resistance? 
R2 RB by R2 plus RB R2 plus RB na. That means you are calculating the voltage not across R2. So you are calculating the voltage across R2 into RB by RB plus R2. So that resistance you are finding not across R2. So that error. So we can call it as a loading error. Right? I think uh, understood, right? See, once again I'll explain. So what is meant by loading error means? I have a resistance R1, R2. See, I have a resistance R1, R2. In R2, the voltage is find out. You know the formulas, voltage divided, divided rule. So with that, you can find out the voltage across R2. So what is that voltage? Current is constant, na? I into R2 by R1 plus R2. From that, you can get the result. But we are instrumentation subject. We have the instruments to measure the unknown quantity. Right? For that, I, know to, I don't want to use the formulas. So directly, I have a voltmeter. I should put that voltmeter across R2. See here. Voltmeter na across ka R2 pete sa. But each and every voltmeter that it has some internal resistance na. So that resistance is Rv. So what is the exact equivalent resistance? R2 R2 into Rv by R2 plus Rv. Dini resistance taggira you are finding the voltage. Not across R2. So that error we can call it as a loading error. So I think uh, you people understand what is a loading error and all these things. So this is very very important concept. Right? So the instrumental errors are percentage of uh, limiting error and uh, guaranteed accuracy error and uh, loading error. Right? After that, uh, error due to irregular spring tension. So if you have a each and every instrument that it has some spring now, if a spring is uneven tension, the spring is uneven movement, definitely it will reach an error now. So these type of errors are called instrumental errors. Error due to aging effect. Now instrument you ka is IP in the inka 10 years, 20 years, war to one go definitely it will reach an error. So these type of errors are called instrumental error. Error due to inherent short circuits. For suppose if uh, aged instrument, if, uh, while you are using aged instrument, definitely there must be uh, some short of short cuts, short cuts in the uh, error in the instrument, uh, in the wires itself. But definitely it will reach an error. Na? So these type of errors are so called instrumental error. So misuse of instrument. If you that means um, you don't know about you don't know about how you, how you are finding the unknown quantity with that instrument. So definitely it will reach an error because I want to measure something, right? I don't know about the instrument. Uh, so you are you don't know anything, then you go for uh, and only you go for finding the unknown quantity. Definitely it will reach an error. Right now, instrument I will tell you I know in order to find the instrument, definitely it will reach an error. So these type of errors we can call it as a instrumental error. So what are the instrumental error? Instrumental error. Instrument is a low quality instrument new station approach errors and instrumental errors under. So percentage limiting error, guaranteed accuracy error, loading error, error due to irregular spring tension and due to aging effect, uh, misuse of instrument and inherent shortcuts. Short circuits which in Apuru definitely will get these type of instrumental errors. Now we'll discuss about environmental errors. So what are the environmental errors? So these are the errors due to the temperature variations, humidity variations, right? External disturbances due to external electrostatic field, external electromagnetic field. So with that, definitely my instrument will reach some errors. So these type of, and that means climatic conditions, right? Environmental conditions changes, my instrument will reach some different value but suppose if you want to measure the instrument in a climate and a cloudy condition it will reach one value in a hot condition it will reach another value so that may be error na? so that type of errors we can call it as an environmental error due to this magnetic field around the instrument produced and definitely it will reach an error right what is environmental errors temperature humidity right mm -hmm. electromagnetic field electrostatic field happen if for suppose an okay, instrument in chest no no and you took a you know electricity definitely the instrument will reach an error 
సో దాని దాని పక్కన ఏదైనా మ్యాగ్నెట్స్ అట్లాంటివి పెట్టామనుకో డెఫినెట్లీ ద ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్ విల్ రీచ్ ఎర్రర్ సో దీస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఎర్రర్స్ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ ఎన్వైర్మెంట్ ఎర్రర్స్ సో ద టెంపరేచర్ హ్యూమిడిటీ ఆల్సో దీస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఎర్రర్స్ డిపెండ్స్ ఆన్ ది టెంపరేచర్ హ్యూమిడిటీ అండ్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ కరెక్ట్ సో వట్ వాట్ ఆర్ దట్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంటల్ ఎర్రర్స్ టెంపరేచర్ ఎర్రర్ స్ట్రీ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఎర్రర్స్ రైట్ సో హౌ ఎన్విరాన్మెంటల్ ఎర్రర్స్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బి ఎలిమినేటెడ్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ప్రాపర్ షీల్డింగ్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎ ప్రాపర్ షార్ట్ ప్రాపర్ షీల్డింగ్ డెఫినెట్లీ యూ షుడ్ ఎలిమినేట్ దీస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ స్ట్రీ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఎర్రర్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంటల్ ఎర్రర్ టెంపరేచర్ హ్యూమిడిటీ తట్టుకొని ఆ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్ విల్ రీచ్ డెఫైన్ వాల్యూ డెఫినెట్ వాల్యూ రైట్ సో దీస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఎర్రర్స్ వీ కెన్ కోల్డ్ యాజ్ ఎ ఎన్విరాన్మెంటల్ ఎర్రర్ సో నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ అబ్జర్వేషనల్ ఎర్రర్ అబ్జర్వేషనల్ మెమెంట్స్ దట్ వీ కెన్ కోల్డ్ యాజ్ ఎ దట్ మీన్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద అబ్జర్వేషనల్ ఎర్ర వైల్ వైల్ సీయింగ్ ద రీడింగ్ ఫర్ సపోజ్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్ దట్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ సమ్ గ్లాస్ ఫిట్టింగ్ నా సో అండర్ ద గ్లాస్ ఫిట్టింగ్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఎ మార్కర్ నా సో వైల్ సీయింగ్ మనం అబ్జర్వ్ చేసేటప్పుడు యు ఆర్ నాట్ టేకింగ్ ద కరెక్ట్ రీడింగ్ రైట్ సో దోస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ రీడింగ్స్ వీ కెన్ దోస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఎర్రర్స్ వీ కెన్ కాల్ ఎస్ అన్ అబ్జర్వేషనల్ ఎర్రర్స్ రైట్ ఆ అబ్జర్వేషన్ ఎలిమినేట్ చేయాలంటే ఎప్పుడు ఎలా చూడాలంటే ఆ పాయింట్కి మనం ఎప్పుడు గ్లాస్కి పర్పెండిక్యులర్గా చూడాలి మనం పక్క నుంచి చూసాం అనుకో డెఫినెట్లీ ఇట్ విల్ రీడ్స్ వన్ వాల్యూ ఎయిట్ సైడ్ నుంచి చూసాం అనుకో డెఫినెట్లీ ఇట్ విల్ రీడ్స్ అనదర్ వాల్యూ దట్ మీన్స్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్కి ఒక గ్లాస్ ఫిట్టింగ్ ఉంటుంది దాని లోపల నాకు రీడింగ్స్ ఉంటాయి ఒక పాయింట్ రిమూవ్ అవుతూ ఉంటుంది రైట్ ఒక పాయింట్ రాగింది అనుకో ద కండిషన్ ఫ్రమ్ దట్ వేర్ యు ఆర్ సీయింగ్ దట్ రీడింగ్ ఈజ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు సీ పర్పెండిక్యులర్లీ then only you'll get the accurate result so left side you know i'll get the different result right side you know i'll get the different results so you have to see perpendicularly so that is called observation level so these are these are nothing but parallax errors right parallax errors that means uh, undefined errors so what are the systematic errors there are three types of systematic errors so those are there are three types of systematic instrumental error instrumental error means low quality instrument used in environmental errors means due to the environment conditions like temperature humidity variations you will get these type of errors right and what is the observational error that means parallax errors so by seeing the observation so how you can see the instrument each and every instrument that it has some glass fittings right so from where you have to see that will eliminate the observational error all right after that are random errors so each there is no particular reason for this uh, errors so each and every instrument uh, that is that is having these type of errors right so these are negligible errors you, you just want to you just won't consider these type of errors but uh, we don't have any proper uh, operations to eliminate these type of errors right there is a, just you need to reduce these errors only you know you don't need you don't have to you don't have any methods to eliminate these type of errors so you have as some analysis to reduce these errors in order to get the accurate results so those and that's analysis we can call it as a statistical analysis all right so what is a random errors these are no particular reason so each and every instrument that it has some these type of errors right there is no particular reason so these are negligible errors so you don't want to eliminate these type of errors you just reduce these errors that's it so for this reduction you have a statistical analysis all right so how the statistical analysis that can be reduced these random errors we will discuss in the next class all right in this session we will discuss about all the theoretical errors in the instrument itself so what are the theoretical errors there are three types of theoretical errors so so what is one is a glass error second one is a systematic error and the third one is <coughs> third one is a random error <coughs> so what is a gross error gross error means human mistakes that means carelessness while taking the readings uh, inexperienced user you don't know what what type of instrument uh, that we can take uh, to do the experiments all right uh, after that uh, systematic errors there are three types of eliminate cheyalante gross errors ni eliminate cheyalante em cheyali different type different different readings is kon or illo average this kon then only you'll get the good result after that second one is a systematic error so systematic errors are three types so instrumental error 
இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்டல் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்டல் லேரர் என்விரான்மெண்டல் லேரர் அப்சர்வேஷன் லேரர் ஸோ இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்டல் லேரர் மீன்ஸ் லோ குவாலிட்டி இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்ஸ் வாட் ஆர் த இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்டல் லேரர் லிமிட்டிங் ஏரர் கிராஸ் கேரண்டிட் ஆக்ரஸி ஏரர் லோடிங் ஏரர் ஹேசிங் எஃபெக்ட் ஸ்ப்ரிங் டென்ஷன் ஆல் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் இல் கிட் என்விரான்மெண்டல் டூ த டெம்பரேச்சர் ஹியூமிடிட்டி எக்ஸ்டர்னல் மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்ட்ரே மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்ட் எலக்ட்ரிக் ஸ்டாடிக் ஃபீல்ட் வேல் டெஃபினெட்லி வில் கெட் தன் எரர் ஸோ தீஸ் டைப் ஆஃப் எரர்ஸ் ஆர் கால் என்விரான்மெண்டல் ப்ராப்பர் ஷீல்டிங் நுச்சி யூ கேன் எலிமினேட் தீஸ் டைப் ஆஃப் எரர்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர் தட் அப்சர்வேஷன் லெட்டர் ஸோ தட் மீன்ஸ் பேரலாக்ஸ் எடர் ஸோ ஹவ் யூ கேன் சி இத் த மெசரிங் குவான்டிட்டி ஸோ இட் வில் ரீட்ஸ் அண்ட் எரர் ஆல்சோ ஸோ எட்லா சூடாலும் எப்படி பர்பெண்டிகுலர்க்கு சூடாலும் இன் ஆர் டு கெட் த குட் ரீசல் எலிமினேட் த அப்சர்வேஷன் லெட்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் த தேர்ட் ஒன் இஸ் அ ரேண்டம் எரர்ஸ் ரேண்டம் எரர்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் யூ டோன்ட் ஹேவ் எனி பர்டிகுலர் ரீசன் ஃபார் திஸ் எரர்ஸ் யூ ஜஸ்ட் நெக்லிஸ் யூ ஜஸ்ட் நெக்லிஸ் தீஸ் டைப் ஆஃப் எரர்ஸ் பட் யூ டோன்ட் ஹேவ் எலிமினேட் எலிமினேஷன் மெத்தட்ஸ் ஃபார் திஸ் யூ ஜஸ்ட் ஹேவ் ஏ ரிடக்ஷன் மெத்தட்ஸ் ஓன்லி So those are statistical analysis of random errors. So in the next session, we'll discuss about uh, what is a statistical analysis of a random errors. This is very, very important concept. The next session, we'll discuss about these things. Thank you.